Good morning, this is day 33, and we're going to do a little walk through Ephesians, Ephesians 5, 25 through 33. It's about husbands. It says, Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself up for her, so that he might sanctify her, having cleansed her by the washing of water with the word, that's the word of God, that he might present to himself the church in all her glory, having no spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that she should be holy and blameless. So husbands ought also to love their own wives as their own bodies. He who loves his own wife loves himself, for no one ever hated his own flesh, but nourishes and cherishes it, just as Christ also does the church, because we are members of his body. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother, and shall be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. This mystery is great, but I am speaking with reference to Christ and the church. Nevertheless, each individual among you also is to love his own wife, even as himself, and the wife must see to it that she respects her husband. Now we have some insight. Is there joy in marriage? Too many struggle, marriage struggles with depression, conflict, and sadness. And it is often the result of husband, the husband disobeying God. A husband might refuse to follow God's commands for a very, very variety of reasons. Sometimes it is pride or selfishness or even resentment or, resentment or bitterness. Whatever the cause, it always boils down to his relationship with Jesus Christ and his failure to submit to him and love him. Today we'll look at the husband's role within marriage, which is a vital component to a happy marriage. When the husband loves the Lord, he will love his wife because he will see the reason for marriage and understand his role within the marriage. Husbands are never called by God to be dictators or tormentors. God never suggests that the husband is to make his wife his slave. What God does say to the husband is to love his wife. This love is to be one that does not change with the tide, is to be self-giving, a self-giving love that is not interested in being reimbursed or compensated. It is a love that will not fail, even in the most challenging of times. It is a love that can't be moved even when it is rejected. The husband is called by God to love his wife. The example of this love is given in verses 25 through 27. Jesus loved the church to the point that he gave himself up for her. And he did so in order to make the church clean and spotless. We were unlovely, angry, prideful, and bitter. Yet Jesus loved us with an unconditional love. In humility, he gave his life for the church. He could have walked away from an unattractive and unpleasant people. But his love was so great that he went to the cross for them. Husbands ought to show their wives a similar love, a love that is humble, patient, kind, and sacrificial. The example is found in the love Jesus has for his church. When the husband's love for his wife is like Christ's love for the church, then will, there will be great joy in the marriage. In addition, when the husband loves his wife, she then is able to do her part more freely and submit to him. She will not fear that he will lead her off course. She will not hesitate to follow him because she will know that he is following Christ. When the wife sees her husband love and recognizes it as similar to Christ's love for the church, she will have no problem fulfilling her role in the marriage. The husband would never place himself in a position where great harm would come to his body, nor should he place his wife in such a position. He must protect her, watch over her, and give to her the needed resources to live peacefully and securely. This is exactly what Jesus does for the church. Christ loves us with an unconditional love, and he will make sure that the church is protected and never abandoned. May the husband follow Christ and emulate his love as the Holy Spirit provides the ability from his endless resources. The challenge. 
If you are a husband, think about these verses and consider the love Jesus has for the church. Think about how unlovely we are and how ungrateful we often can be. To remember that God has called you to love your wife just as Christ loves the church. God's command for the Christian husband to love his wife with an unconditional love is possible because of the Holy Spirit who resides within. He will provide the means to accomplish God's command. We must grab hold of it and utilize it. Will you and I take time today to pray about your relationship with your wife? Ask God to help you with the resources he has already made available. God would never ask you to do anything without providing the necessary means to make this happen. Reflection. What is God saying to us right now? Remember, those who love the Lord and they have a godly marriage. Our wife is the daughter of a king. So, men, how do we treat the daughter of a king that we are allowed to marry? that our Father gave to us with great love. Thank you.